Inside PhotoRAW 2020, we have an all-new filter called the Color Balance Filter. And the Color Balance Filter is an amazing tool for correcting color on your portraits and landscapes. So let's grab a photograph and let me show you how it works. So let's start with this photo here. So all I want to do in this shot is I want to correct the color a little and add some creative style to it. So first things first, I'm going to head into Tone and Color, and I'm going to use this all-new AI Auto button. And that's going to develop the tone and color for me. So now that I've set my foundational look, I can head into Effects, and we can correct our color using the new Color Balance Filter. So with the Color Balance Filter, we can modify the different colors in our highlights, our midtones, and our shadows. And I typically start with my shadows first. So let's bring a little bit of warmth into the shot. I'm going to head into my Color Balance Filter, and I'll start with my Shadows tab. So to bring in the color, I'm going to head down to my amount slider, and I'll pull up on it, and then I'll add in some of the color that's marked on this hue slider. So now if I move this hue slider, you can see it's changing the colors in my shadow tones in this image. So all of those deep, dark tones in this photo are changing colors whenever I modify this hue slider. So let's bring it over here to a nice, warm, sort of yellow-orange color. And I'll pull up on the amount a little more, maybe right there. And I'm actually going to lower the brightness a little bit, and that's going to add in some contrast. So now we can head into our Midtones tab. And for this particular photo, most of the midtones are going to be her skin tones, and then the grays in the image. So I'm going to head over, and I'll pull up on my amount. And you can see that all of this red is being applied to all of the midtones in the photo. So if I modify this hue slider, it's going to modify the majority of the image. I'm actually going to bring in a little bit more red than I did before with the shadows, probably about right there. And I'm going to actually pull up on the brightness, and that's going to brighten up those midtones quite a bit. And I could probably pull back on the amount a little bit so they're not so red. Perfect. So now we can head into our highlights. And for the highlights on this shot, it's going to be a lot of these white areas in the sky and then the bright areas on her coat. So I'm going to head over and I'll pull up on the amount so I can see what I'm working with. And you can see that by pulling up on this amount, it's added in that red color to all of those bright highlights. Well, I want to cool them down a little bit, so I'm going to head over to this blue area. And then I'll pull back on my amount so that it's not so intensely blue. Perfect. And then I'll head down to my brightness, and I'll pull that up quite a bit too. And that'll bring a little bit more life into the shot. Sweet. So now if I turn this color balance filter off and on. You can see it brings in a lot of creative style to this photo. But I want to add in just a little bit more. So I'm going to add a filter. And I'm going to use this all new sun flare filter. And I'll go into my presets. And I'll choose the texture, and I'll choose this Sun Flare 2. So if I turn this off and on, it brings on a cool Sun Flare overlay and adds a little bit more oomph to the photograph. So now if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, I really like this look on this photo. So I'm going to head up to this icon right here. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to save this look as a preset. So I'll just type in Beach Shots, and I'll go into Categories, and I'll add it into my Portraiture category. And now I'm just going to pull up my Film Strip View Mode by hitting F on my keyboard. And now I'm going to sync this look to these other images that I shot that day by holding down Shift and clicking on them. And then I'll head over and click Sync. I'll head up and click Apply. And now it's applied that awesome look to these other photos. So now if I want to share these photos, I'll head back into Browse by hitting G on my keyboard. And I'll grab these photos of my friend Charlotte, and I can send them to her really easily by just heading down to the Share icon. I'll click on it, and then I'll just click Messages to send them to her.
So that's how easy it is to use the color balance filter to modify the colors and bring some life into your photo.